guess I'll give a little backstory about myself. Uh, I'm 17 years old. I'm Scottish and Guyanese. I'm biracial. My parents separated when I was seven, and art's been around my life my entire existence, essentially. I've always had a problem with control and controlling myself and allowing myself to feel certain things. So I use my work to reflect on my relationships and the intricacies that come with them. I look at my relationships on two levels, a macro and a micro. So how I fit in the universe and how I as an individual fit in my own society, right? Sorry, I ripped this all at like 3.50 a.m. last night because it got erased. So <laughs> we just gonna look at my phone and keep the ball rolling, you know how I feel me? But uh, for a while, um, especially during the beginning of high school, I let my emotions kind of run rampant and destroy a lot of relationships that I had with people. I was unreformed and unrefined. But through this experience, it taught me how to actually grow and, and develop a safer, more progressive way of processing my emotions. Instead of allowing myself to feel emotions ignorantly, I chose to give myself boundaries, creating an environment where I'm in control of what I feel and what I project onto the world. My art is a translation of that idea. The idea that control and emotional vulnerability intersect one another and they're not indifferent from each other. So simply put, I seek to understand myself through others and how each individual defines my, sig my singular place in the universe. My most recent work is what you're seeing now, which utilizes gray blocks overlaid to create a specific arrangement that create a pattern image that is a product of control itself. I use gray as the main color to simplify. Gray is black, nor is it white. It's in between, it's the balance. And that's what I seek a lot of the time in my relationships is to find that balance and to find that middle ground where I, where I stand and where that other person stands. The layering process allows me to deconstruct the image, revealing its honest and true intentions. I apply this same process to not only my art, but my relationship itself as well. This actually gives me some sort of clarity when communicating with people in the future, as well as giving me some sort of clarity when just communicating in general. By creating these arrangements, I've given myself control, complete control of those relationships that the images are based around. I like to create these in multiples as in series to not only expand the idea, but also to create multiple sections where I can reflect on the multiple interactions I may have had with that individual, which then from there, as a series compiles into one body of work, creates a singular entity reflective of that inherent relationship. For me, I project a lot onto the future. What am I gonna be? What art am I gonna be making? Who am I gonna be making it for? But I recently had a revelation when I was in photography class quite recently, about two weeks ago, I would say, where I was talking to Mr. Novak. And originally, I believed it, that I wanted to purely define my relationships on my own standards and not on a two-way path. So how I work and how, as well as the other person operates. I've come to realize that as time progresses, so does my art. And my art is not a reflection of my relationships. So when my art progresses, so do my relationships. And I realize I should not be afraid of the future. I should define it myself and change my own viewpoint. Because once I change my own view, I change my way of living, which then changes my path entirely and how I do things. Again, I said I wrote this at like 3.50 a.m. I finished this at like 5 p.m. So it's a little bit shorter than how I normally like it. But maybe I'll, I'll leave you guys a little funny story at the end, actually, on my way here. But I would like to leave everyone with one last thing before I get off this podium. Remember that you are in control of yourself. Allow yourself to be within your personal set boundaries. Boundaries can either provide protection and clarity or create chaos within. It's up to you to decide how you want to live. Put your honest energy so people can understand in the most honest way possible. People understand you best when you're most honest. I've come to that conclusion. I've learned that through honesty creates clarity and through clarity, a better way of living. And that's what I want. I want the most genuine way I can live. And that's what my art is a reflection of, genuineness and honesty. <laughs> um, and 
through love and through pain, I can create work through this because you cannot experience something without one or the other. Everything works in duality. Everything works within itself, against, as well as against itself. And that's what my work is about. Control, but also letting control go. That's how those two interact. Again, my name is Azar. I'm in grade 11 visual arts. Thank you.